Hello together! I always was interested in 3D printing. The only thing was that I don't have any 3D printer or any experience with it. Lucky me, Bumble Labs asked me a couple weeks ago if I would like to have a printer for my project. Sure, I said yes, uh, because I was so interested in They sent me actually two printers, the X1 Carbon and the A1. And I'm really surprised about the entry level, the A1, because it's such an amazing machine. You can actually print almost the same speed and uh, the same volume, like the bigger one. And sure, some materials are not possible with the small one, but um, you know, if you want like a review or maybe I'm not the right channel, but I, I would like to show you what I actually did with the project. I have some bigger projects in mind what I would really like to, to build with the printer and I see some potential with some future project. I think most of the people use the 3D printer to get a little bit more organized in the workshop. So that's what I did at first. I was printing all the boxes to get a little bit more organized in my drawers. And now I have for all the tools and bits and pieces, I have some custom boxes. They're also stackable. And the another nice thing is that they're not slipping and moving around in the drawer, so that's perfect. Now I have all my, my grinding stuff here and uh, the brushes for the dyeing grinder. And even now it makes a little bit more fun like that. The other thing is, if you boxes in, with that height, it's actually hard to get, especially with the right size. So you just print it yourself and that makes actually so much fun. The other thing was that I was getting organized with my power tool rack here. I got some new tools. So I wanted to have a new wall or a new rack where I can hang all my power tools. Because I don't have that much time because I'm still working full time and I'm actually always working on the weekend or Saturday or in the evening. So I tried to make a really fast workflow that I can reach the tools straight away without any hassle. So it makes it a little bit more fun and I can work even faster. The other thing what I would like to mention is that the printer is actually super easy to use. The printing blade is like completely self-leveling before every print and the printer will also recognize if the right blade is inside the printer for the filament. Also if you buy the filament straight away from Bumble Labs, there's like an NFG in and the printer will recognize which filament it's in, with color and which settings you have to use. That makes it so easy. And another cool thing what I was printing was actually a film extraction hood for my plasma counter. Like in my last video, like I said, I always use the plasma cutter on the end of the day because I don't have a, a right film extraction for it. And a friend of mine actually, because he got the same plasma cutter, he designed a film extraction hood for the plasma cutter. That, um, he just sent me the file and I was printing it and it works great. And the only work what I had to do was just printing it. It took about a little bit longer. I don't know how, how long. But uh, now I have a film extraction hood for the plasma cutter. That makes a lot of sense and makes more fun to work with that. Then I was coming up with another idea I had in mind. I was coming up with that design here. I designed some shims here. They, later on they will slide together and then you can screw them together. That means they will go up and down. Especially if you like a bigger part and you have to adjust on the right and left side. You just put them underneath and then you can screw it up and down. This design is not finished now. That means I have to redesign it. But now I have it in CAD and I just can redesign it. I never saw a tool like that. Maybe you saw something like that or there's something uh, already existent, just let me know. And um, yeah, I think it's quite handy because you can adjust everything about a tenth of a millimeter. Then I was printing them templates here. This one is actually here for round two, gives you the angle of 45 degrees later on. I think it's quite handy to have something like that and it's even more handier to have a printer because something like that will print maybe 20 minutes or so. Sure you have to draw it for the angle but a lot of the regular ones you can just download it on the internet. You also can make you like something like for square tube. You just make a, a template, mark it and then you have to cut it or grind it or for all kinds of profiles or flat steel materials or so or you even can mark your holes or so. That's why a 3D printer is really need to have. Then I was coming up to design the fixtures here for my welding table. This one is actually quite handy. I never saw something like that from the design here. It's like 10, 20, 30 millimeters uh, steps. And here you have like a cutout for tubes. You also can 
clump something inside here and this one is actually printed out of PLA CV. The CV means you have like carbon fiber inside to make it a little bit more stiffer. I recommend it with the heat, you have to be a little worried about it because you know if you take something that's 100% but if you do like heavy welding this one is not the right stuff. There will be heat or more heat resistant materials or filaments. I haven't tested them yet, I will test it uh, quite soon because I'm really interested in 3D printing now to get a little bit more used to it. And if you think about the price, this one is actually costing me 2 to 3 euro. Bigger piece like that, it cost me about 6 or 7 euro. If you want to buy something like that out of steel, you have to... I think it's 10 times the price from that one. So it means, you know, if you use it once or twice a year or just for one job, you know, think about it. You also can make the right fixtures for your right size if you have like special fabrication work. You know, if you think about a couple of videos back from mine where I built this bicycle frame, you know, a 3D printer would be quite handy for that. But I think 3D printing is actually a big value for me and for my workshop and also for my future project because it makes everything a little bit more handier, especially in the workshop to get a little bit more workflow. And also for the future project, if I need some right measurements or the right fixtures, the right brackets also, I just print them out and have, have a look how it looks or how it, how it works out or how, how is the measurement. The other thing is, I think it's even more value if you start to draw your own files. A lot of people do that, but you also can download a lot of them, you know. You just have to look around, some you have to, to buy, some they are for free. But there's a lot of stuff out there, you know, especially we've organized everything, you know, like the, the battery holders and the little boxes and so that makes it quite handy. That's why I would say just get you a 3D printer. I hope you liked the video. It was something different like from the last videos. And um, if you want to see something with 3D printing, especially with the heat resistance for welding, I'm also really interested in that. And um, just let me a comment or write me a message and... Um, I hope you like it. See you in the next video. Bye.